these videos because it gives me an idea of products that are kind of like bad. The products that I'm going to be using might work out for you guys, but they personally did not work out for me. Actually, some of these products you guys have seen plenty of times in videos, but I have just grown to just like them. So let's go ahead and get it popping. For primer, there's really nothing that I dislike at the moment. I'm just going to jump right into foundation. So these are the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. I have the color Nude and Golden. I think Nude is like the lightest shade that I have. When I pump this in the back of my hand, like it actually looks like it's gonna be my color. You guys will see right now when I start applying this on the face. Okay, it's looking uh, just a little bit darker, right? I mean, nothing new. I do like my foundation just a tad bit darker. Even like right here, it's starting to just get darker already. Like it really oxidizes on your skin. I can't work with things that oxidize, especially like this. And I do feel like it is like a powdery finish. And I think if I actually found my right shade, I would really like it. Anything that oxidizes on my face, I'm just not for it at all. It makes it a lot harder for me to actually find something that's my skin tone. I literally look so orange right now. This gives me nightmares. Uh. So now that I'm two completely different shades, we're going to move on to the concealer. The concealer that I really don't like that much, but I still use because I always try to give it a chance. This is the Morphe concealer. These concealers I love to like contour my face with, and I do use them often to like highlight the face. This is in the shade Khaki. It's kind of like a whipped cream formula. It feels very... Moosey, there you go. But it literally feels like I'm applying whipped cream underneath my eyes. That's exactly how it feels. And I feel like that's why I don't like it. It just feels very foamy. Feels just super heavy on the skin. I'm just gonna take my Sigma 3D HE Beauty Blender, which I really like. I'm just going to start dabbing this out. I don't know if you guys see that, but it's already kind of, I don't know kind of hard to blend. It looks fine right now that I'm blending it out, but I do notice it starts separating on me, especially when I put powder right over. To set the under eyes, I feel like these two powders... Ugh, I don't know why people make these powders that give flashbacks. For setting powders, I have two. I have the LA Girl Pro Powder and the... What is it called? The Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. A lot of people take pictures with flash and these definitely flash back. Like, I really don't like it. And even this without flash, like I could just put it on and I think you could like literally still see it. So because I don't really like both of these, I'm gonna apply this one on this side and I'm gonna apply the Makeup Forever on this side. Okay, so this is the LA Girl. Whoa, you see all that powder just it's insane. So I'm just gonna pack this on underneath the eyes. <coughs> I'm telling you, this goes everywhere. It gives you such a cooling effect, which I'm not complaining about. Like it feels really cold. Other than that, oh my goodness. Like there's no way I can't break this in. It's so powdery. I could taste the powder. The only thing that I like about these powders is like they almost give you such an amazing blurring effect. Other than that, they completely suck. The makeup for everyone, I'm not gonna lie, like I actually do use it when I know I'm not gonna be taking pictures. Um, we are gonna pack this on. Yeah, so this one doesn't really like choke you or anything, but it will definitely give you flashback. Okay, are you guys seeing this right now? This is what I don't like about the foundation. It just starts like crumbling on your face, like it's separating. It literally looks like I have a mustache right now. I can't. But that's another thing I don't like. <laughs> I'm just gonna dust this powder off and you're gonna notice this side, it's still gonna be kind of white under. This is a perfect example of what I mean of the concealer. It's starting to separate completely. Can you guys see that? Oh my God, this is so bad. I move and you see like the different angles. I'm gonna try flash like once I'm done with my whole makeup and you guys will see. Um, but yeah, I mean so far, so bad. Another powder that I do not like, I was about to forget about this one, but this is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. This is in the color Golden Hour. These were sent out as like PR packages to a lot of YouTubers. I'm automatically assuming that these powders were like all the same color. From what I know, people were baking with this and stuff, so I automatically assumed it's it's a translucent powder for every skin tone. I went ahead and did a first impression on it. I wasn't really feeling it. It looks like a good color, but it makes me look incredibly dark. And the simple fact that people were baking with this kind of scares me because I want to brighten up my under eyes and this is gonna do the complete opposite. But again, I don't know if 
the color golden hour is just like an actual shade I'm wondering if they actually did send me a color that that was my skin tone and I'm over here complaining thinking it's translucent because then I would feel real stupid crap I actually messed up I wanted to show you guys this Anastasia contour cream kit I actually reviewed this I think when it first came out I was so excited I wanted to be part of the bandwagon so bad like I really actually did really like it in the beginning I started realizing when people were telling me like girl that it's too orange for you this is the light palette I don't get it this was for people with fair skin I think they actually came out with like a lighter one than this one like after as you can tell the banana one I do enjoy it where I used to I really haven't used this in a while but I used to like using this one to brighten up the under eyes it looks like clay on your brush that's exactly how it feels and then you know you want to apply it on I think the main problem like you could definitely find a way to mix it in with something but the color is super orange Maybe I actually went a little ham on this one but as you can see it just it's too warm to contour and this is actually a contour cream kit for blushes honestly I really don't dislike any of them after I film this I'm gonna just start remembering like everything I don't like and I'm gonna be like why did I not mention that this is the NYX illuminator in the color ritualistic I think I did like a top 10 best of NYX but I actually really liked it let me tell you why I wasn't exposed to like all these different kinds of makeup I'm not gonna lie like I didn't have a lot of makeup to really play with so I thought this was like the best thing out there now that I have really experienced like different highlighters I have come to realize that this is very chalky so I don't know it looks kind of yellow from an angle it's definitely not that pigmented I was like really in love with it back then though I'm not gonna lie so you can't really see it where is it at for my brows. So I feel like every single product I'm like, I used to use it before, but now I hate it. I feel like we just all learn, don't we? And this is the ColourPop Brow Pencil. And I did make it very clear though, that it was super pigmented and it almost makes it impossible for someone to actually draw in their brows correctly. So this is in the shade black and brown. Even if I really start touching it, it's like gliding on. Like the product for sure breaks up. And I've had this for a while. I mean, I'm sure it's like already drying out. So you can already imagine getting it brand new. I'm not sure if they've actually changed the formula of these. There was like a moment where I was using, I think like a blonde color for the brows just because it was so intense. And that was like the only one that looked normal on me. And when I do try to actually blend it out with a spoolie it really starts to break up the product and i don't know if you could see all these little dots everywhere i mean you can make it work you really can it just it's so difficult i'm actually really trying to get these right right now they look a little crazy well actually they don't look that bad on camera but girl the struggle is real i'm gonna show you guys this kylie 2016 holiday palette i feel very horrible i really do because i actually did a giveaway giving away a whole Kylie holiday collection. I was super excited about this giveaway. I even ordered myself the collection. Once I started trying out the products, I mean the lip kits, I feel like I'm always gonna really love those. But the palette really had me disappointed because the colors were really not that pigmented. I was very shook because people really rave about these eyeshadows and I didn't see anything special in them. Again, this is my personal opinion. For it being my first palette from Kylie, I was so disappointed. I'm just gonna grab this shade right here, pop it on the crease. It's not like, wow, it sucks so bad for it being like highly cosmetics I was for sure expecting way more than this I'm definitely gonna try to give her other palettes a try but this one right here just the colors in general of the palette are not my favorite I'm gonna take this color right here this is definitely a pretty color I was just expecting a lot more pigmentation off this palette you know for lashes I'm gonna be showing these from cherry blossom I honestly used to wear these so much before before I discovered the really crazy house of lashes all these like dramatic lashes pretty much like I, I really like those are like boom these I mean you might like them. I find them a lot at like clothing boutiques and stuff. And every time I see them, it really brings back memories because I used to love these. I thought there was nothing better than them. I have friends that actually love these lashes. They look amazing on them. I actually have lash extensions right now, but we're gonna pop them on above. I feel like they're so, so thin that it's almost hard to actually put them on. Usually that's not like a bad thing if it's like a thin band, but this one's like, I kind of struggle with this. Oh my god, it's stuck to my lash. They're so thin. I'm putting this on so bad. These eyelashes actually don't look that bad, I would say because, first of all, they're not ugly. I'm just, I'm so used to more dramatic ones. And second of all, I have false lashes already, or like lash extensions, so it makes my eyelashes look a little bit more full. So they really are not looking bad right now, but they're 
my least favorite kind of lashes. I have this eyeshadow from MAC. This is in the color Flicker. This is a pressed pigment. I purchased it because I thought it was going to be such a beautiful shimmery color for the inner corner, the brow bone, all that good stuff. So sad. It looks good, I guess, swatch. But when you swatch it, this hand looks a mess. When you swatch it, like, I'm like, where is it? Where is the product? I really have to pack it on. The more I put on, it just gets really messy and then you have glitter all over your face. As you can tell, I really tried to use it. This was probably like one of my first MAC eyeshadows, I'm not gonna lie, but if you guys have a better way to use these, you know, let me know. Moving on to my lips, I have, <sighs> I'm very sad to say this, the ColourPop liquid lipsticks are a definite <laughs> No for me. I actually, when I first swatched these liquid lipsticks on camera, I was really excited for them. They were like the first liquid lipsticks that I heard were super affordable and I even tried to apply Vaseline with them just because I knew they were very drying on the lips. I started to realize the older the liquid lipstick got, the drier and chunkier it looked. I'm gonna take this one in the color Trap and Trap was actually one of my favorite colors. It's just very drying. Even when I did like the 100 layers of liquid lipstick, it was really helping it build up of how like thick the liquid lipstick was because I did realize like some people did do the same video and it wasn't layering as much on them as it was on me and then I realized I was like I use pretty much pure ColourPop liquid lipsticks and yep it's just leaves it very thick and dry honestly I don't know if they've actually changed up the formula though the other ones that they have the ones that are like semi matte I love those they still look kind of matte but they're still very moisturizing on the lips it's so hard to even glide this on the lips, y'all. Okay. <laughs> y'all thought I was done. I am not. I love Too Faced. I feel like every product that Too Faced comes out with is amazing. The one product, though, that I never understood was this. This is the No Filters Selfie Powders. It comes with, like, a yellow kind of like a bronzy color and this purple like lavender color. And these are supposed to be literally like filters. Like you see the little dog filters they have right there? Yeah, you put it, I'm assuming all over your face and it's kind of like you're a walking filter. I've just never really understood it. Let's try this filter. It's a light filtering photo enhancing powder. So I'm just literally applying this all over the face and I, I don't know, I feel like it actually does not do anything. Do you guys see me becoming a filter? I guess this is like the Valencia filter on Instagram. This is probably just gonna make me look a little bit more tan. This yellow one, I was like, what? I don't know. I'm probably using this completely wrong. If I am, please let a girl know. I don't see a difference in my face. What do you guys think? I don't think it looks that bad right now, but honestly, my lips are about to crumble off. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we leave, we're gonna do the picture test and see what is wrong with my hair? My hair is like so staticky today. I'm shook. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh my god. But yeah, y'all, as you can see, the products do still work. I tr strongly believe you can always make something work. It's uh, a little bit more time consuming, but you can make it happen. It's just sometimes it's not worth spending hours trying, trying to work something out with a face. But yeah, I guess we shall do the picture test with flash and see how I truly look with the lights on my face. So let's do it. So we're gonna do the picture really quick with flash. <laughs> and see how it looks. Oh my goodness, yeah, you can definitely see that flash. My face does not look super dark, but these under eyes though, they look real bright, girl. I'm just not living for that right now. Especially this side, like what the hell? But yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to turn on the notifications and that will just notify you when I upload a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching. 